Hello everyone! In this video I would like to show an example of one of two MST misconfigurations, which is trunk link pruning. So let's get started. Trunk link pruning. The topology in MST is determined by instance, regardless of uh, the VLANs mapped to it. In this example, both VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 are mapped to instance 1, and if administrator decides to manually prune VLAN 10 on one uplink and VLAN 20 on another uplink in order to restrict traffic on the uplinks from SW3 to SW1 and SW2, the users on VLAN 20 will have a problem with connectivity. It happens because VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 are both mapped into the same instance one creating only one topology for both VLANs and load balancing cannot be achieved here due to manual pruning and that VLAN 20 is only allowed on blocked port. So here we have uh, the administrator, administrator wants to uh, achieve this topology where VLAN 20 is pruned from uh, uplink from SW2 3 to SW1, sorry, and VLAN 10 is pruned from uplink from SW3 to SW2 switch, so he is gonna get some kind of load balancing, but because these both VLANs are um, mapped to only one instance one and the topology in MST is determined by, by instance, uh, we have the following uh, logical topology where uplink from SW3 is blocked as, uh, uplink from SW3 to SW2 is blocked. So in this case, we have uh, VLAN 20 is blocked uh, on this um, link by uh, MST, and on this uh, link, it's pruned by administrator. So there is no connectivity from SW3 switch in VLAN 20 to both switches. And to fix this issue and achieve load balancing, VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 must be mapped to different instances. Never manually prune VLANs of a trunk. Remove all the VLANs mapped to the given instance together. Never remove individual VLAN from a trunk and not remove all the VLANs that are mapped to the same instance. Let's review second misconfiguration example and this is uh, trunk link pruning. So in this case, we want, for example, to prune some VLANs on the trunk amp links to do kind of uh, load balancing. So, um, I'm going to configure, for now, there is PVST running on these switches, so I'm going to configure it to MST and um, I'm going to map VLAN, both VLANs to uh, instance one. And then I'm going to prune uh, VLANs from these two uplinks to see uh, where we're going to lose connectivity. And I've pre-configured uh, VLANs on all switches and these interfaces to hosts are already in the corresponding VLAN. So this one is VLAN 20, this VLAN, VLAN 10, 20, 20, uh, 10. So let's go and see what we have. Show spanning 3, this is switch 1. Uh, it is it, it's a route for um, all VLANs. Conf T, spanning 3 mode MST, spanning 3 MST configuration, uh, name MST, revision 1, instance 1 VLAN 10, instance 1 VLAN 20. And second. So conf t spanning 3 and mode mst spanning 3 mst configuration uh, name mst revision 1 instance 1 vlan 10 instance 1 vlan 20 and let's go to the last switch so spanning 3 All good. Uh, G02 is in blocking state for all VLANs. Spanning 3 mode MST. Spanning 3 MST configuration. Name MST. Revision 1. Instance 1 VLAN 10. Instance 1 VLAN 20. Show spanning 3. So we can see that 
Now we have also G02 in blocking state for MST0 and for MST1. Uh, let's see if we have connectivity. PC3 is in VLAN 10 and it had this address, IP address, and PC1 is also in VLAN 10. Let's go to PC1. Ping. We have ping connectivity there, and um, PC4 is in VLAN 20 and PC2 as well. So ping. Connectivity, we have connectivity. Now um, I'm gonna go and prune VLAN 10 from this uh, link and VLAN 20 from this. So interface G01, switch port, trunk, allow VLANs. I'm gonna prune VLAN 10, so I'm allowing VLAN 10 and uh, 1 and 20. And interface G02, 10. So uh on for this in this case uh, we're gonna lose connectivity in vlan 10 let's go and see vlan 20 we still have connectivity and vlan 10 seems we don't have connectivity this is because i pruned vlan 10 from this uplink and it's only on this uplink uh, from between SW3 and SW2 and as uh, because we have one instance and for that instance for IST this port is blocked and it's blocked for all VLANs so uh, VLAN 20 is also blocked there is no connectivity between this uh, host and this host there is no connectivity here on these uh, links so as you can see there is no uh, connectivity in VLAN I'm oh, sorry, in VLAN 10. So there is no connectivity between host PC1 and PC3 uh, in VLAN 10. And let's go swap. So we're gonna uh, do, we're gonna prune VLAN 10 from G02 interface from this one and VLAN 20 from this one. Interface G01. We want 20 pruned. So now we're gonna lose connectivity in uh, for VLAN 20. As you can see, the uh, VLAN 10 has restored connectivity and we don't have connectivity in VLAN 20. And the same situation, VLAN 20 is pruned from this uplink. Uh, see g01 only allowed 1 and 10 from this one and it's only on this uh uplink but as because we have one instance all vlans are blocked on this port so vlan 20 is blocked we don't have connectivity between pc2 and pc4 uh, you can see destination host unreachable and we have for VLAN 10. So never manually prune VLANs of a trunk. Remove all the VLANs mapped to a given instance together. Never remove individual VLAN from trunk and not remove all the VLANs that are mapped to the same instance. So to fix this issue and achieve load balancing, VLANs must be mapped to different instances. So now I'm going to uh, map VLAN 10 to instance 1 and VLAN 20 to instance 2 and I'm going to make uh, SW1 root bridge for instance 1 and SW2 root bridge for instance 2 and I'm not going to touch pruning for now let's see what we're going to have Conf T, spanning 3, MST configuration instance to VLAN 20 and uh, Sparring 3 MST uh, VLAN oh, MST1 sorry root primary and MST2 root secondary so this is going to be primary for first MST and secondary for second secondary let's go to switch 2 instance 2 VLAN 20 and spanning 3 MST 1 root secondary 
n mst to root primary and let's go to switch 3 exit uh, spanning 3 mst configuration instance 1 vlan 10 instance 2 vlan 20 and show spanning 3 mst configuration okay and let's check what we have now now we can see that g02 is still blocked for um, g02 interface for mst0 and and that's it and we have connectivity in vlan 10 and we have connectivity in vlan 20. so let's go and see g02 is a root for um, the mst2 and g01 is root for mst1 so now we have a load balancing and that's what we were about to achieve in the beginning when we did this kind of misconfiguration by pruning VLANs. So, as I said, never manually prune VLANs of a trunk. Remove all the VLANs mapped to a given instance together. Never remove individual VLAN from trunk and not remove all the VLANs that are mapped to the same instance. At this point, I would like to say thank you for watching my video. I hope you liked it. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I wish you success in your studying and I hope to see you soon. Ciao, ciao!